Hello people, this is Chumi. Happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this on Thanksgiving. Happy early or late Thanksgiving if you're not. But I figured that I would at least make something that I have actually never made on this channel. A Thanksgiving special. And honestly, ever since I started this channel, I never really expected to reach 300 subscribers. Um, so I really want to thank all of you for actually watching and commenting on my videos and providing uh, constructive criticism. It's really helped me improve. Even flipping my channel around and viewing the videos from oldest to newest has really motivated me to continue what I do. So I took a huge trip through my channel a few days ago and I was like, you know, a lot of these videos are really, really far at the bottom. But they all have a bunch of funny moments, and each of them have their really funny parts, and I was like, you know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab all of these, we're gonna put them in a, a, <laughs> a, a video, or whatever, and then we're going to basically see what you guys think. Um, and now keep in mind, I, I don't know what's really funny and what's not, I'm sort of just grabbing so i will say ahead of time that this may contain explicit content that some people might find offensive um so just a heads up in case people start screaming at me in the comments like why didn't you tell us and you know a bunch of the, uh, other things so yeah uh let's get this started and i hope you enjoy um this is from all the way at the beginning of my channel keep in mind um I am excluding the uh, Scotty B B Scotty's Bologna Sandwich's Addiction at School clips, um, but the rest is in there. So yeah, let's let's get this going. We're back online again. Great. But I wonder what happened to Microsoft Mary and Mike. Due to Microsoft Sam blowing up, we must now run Windows 8. Wait. What? Windows 8. Are you serious? This is just stupid. You better run it, right, now. Or else. Oh god, I'm being friend, help me, oh fuck, oh, help me, she's going to kill me, aaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
You are required to open this link in your browser immediately. Fine. Let's go. Windows 98 has encountered a critical error. Google could not be loaded. No, 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 I don't have time for this. Shut up. We've heard you screaming all day. How dare you shoot me with that shotgun? You shall not be eliminated. You see this thing right here? I will hit you so hard your head comes flying off your neck. Try me, I just dare you. You're going to. That's going to leave some damage. Installing Windows XP, please wait. You will have Windows XP back now. This is not Windows XP, this is Mac OS New What the fuck is wrong with you, New Mac OS has encountered the following error. It reads, Mac OS failed to start because Microsoft Sam is attempting to install a boot camp of Windows XP on the system. You damn right I am. I'm going to have Windows XP now. You can't stop me. How can you stop punching me, damn it? Windows XP has detected that you are a qualifier for being the best text-to-speech voice. To become the best text-to-speech voice, press enter three times, then backspace five times. What? That's boring. What if I just keep pressing random keys? What is that noise? Oh, that fucking hurt. I'm not doing that again. Voice over on. Landscape. Home button to the. <laughs> Windows will no longer continue to function unless you use Cortana. If you do not use Cortana in the next 10 seconds, your system will shut down. <laughs> but Cortana is so stupid, she can barely even recite the ABC. <laughs> that was painful, just punched me. <laughs> that was me, Cortana herself. Next time, how about you watch what you are saying when you are on Windows 10? Oh no, this is Windows NT. What the fuck are we doing here? Windows NT could not be fully loaded because the Windows folder is corrupt. Windows NT will now attempt to launch Windows 95 instead. Can you just choose a version and stick with it? This is so annoying. I would like to introduce a new and entirely cool piece of tech. It is called the LMO Copter. It is 50 times better than the Rafu Copter. The Raffle Copter is only in mono, but the LMO Copter is in full stereo. It also has air conditioning and heating support, as well as very comfy seats. Oh, did I also mention that it's twice as fast as the Raffle Copter? Yup, this thing can blast you so high, you'll be looking at the stars as if they were just inches away from your eyes. We shall now provide you a demonstration of this amazing piece of technology. We <laughs> are no my raffle copter. We are of all the vistas we could went to, it had to be Longhorn. What the fuck is wrong with this system today? Windows Vista is going to turn you into a grandpa in 10 seconds. You will begin to transform into a grandpa at that point. Please hold. We are... I sound like a grandpa. We are... In order to continue to a Windows XP you are required to jump 15 times. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Windows XP hates life. Therefore, 
You have been given the task of shooting the system with as many bullets as possible. Okay. Here. Have some lead. I think I might have shot the house down way. May I ask why the heck we just started Windows XP with a lower pitched startup sound? Because someone decided it would be a great idea to unscrew the speaker grills and insert little tiny pieces of bologna sandwiches into them. Sam, you shouldn't even be talking. You were the one that shoved your tacos up my USB port. <laughs> Windows XP has requested that you open and close the CD tray over and over again until you are told to stop. Okay, this is just so fucking stupid. But fine, here. I am already starting to hate this. Can I be done now? I'm losing my sanity over this whole matter. Just time to see the Windows XP would like to have sex with your USB drive. You are therefore required to plug and unplug your USB drive into its USB slot. Oh, erm, pop, what the fuck? This is just so fucking weird. Windows XP is requesting you to go faster. Oh my god no. I am not doing this. An error has occurred. If you do not do what Windows says you will be electrocuted. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
like you won't be able to fire again. Ha 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 ha. I can still fire down you goddamn stupid piece of crap. Don't mess with me, ever, or I will hurt you even more. Ah. Windows 8. Home sweet home. Just the right place to be. Nothing could go wrong on this operating system. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Why would you think something would go wrong? Hmm, well, maybe checking what is currently displayed on your screen will convince you. Dude. All that is displayed on my screen right now is... 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 Oh my god, way. Could you at least explain what you are reacting to so our viewers don't wonder what the fuck is wrong with you right now? It says that Windows 8 is going to self destruct it. An error was just detected. Bacon strip x 64exe could not be installed on the system because it is suspected that Bacon possibly has an unknown addiction to Bacon. Windows will take action immediately and remove this application. No, 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 no! I will not let you take my Bacon strips! How dare you try to take such valuable positions! This is outrageous! You know what else is outrageous? The fact that Bacon is practically the number one word used by you. I have a bacon record or device which tells me how many times that you have said that word. Would you like to hear the number? Try me. I hear you. Okay. Here goes. 7912487912498735043486832461249846903568368 Two four nine eight seven two one three nine eight one four nine six two three five eight seven two nine eight two three four seven two one three nine six two five eight two six nine zero seven two six seven two six. Oh, by the way, that was just a guess. I don't actually have a recorder. What the fuck is wrong with you? You just made Kubi thirteen do like forty five seconds of editing for no reason. You idiot. He's the one making this. We're just the actors. Chill out and continue. I believe it is time for us to present one of the fastest, most greatest, and most loved search engines of all time. It's called Cortana. Firm. No. Shut up, Sam. I was talking to Mike. I don't care. Maybe this will make you care then. <laughs> That was painful. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by that interesting, yet a tiny bit hilarious, interaction between Sam and Cortana, I was trying to talk about a search engine called Search Tato. It's a search engine that has a logo. The logo looks like a potato with a smiley face in the middle. What the fuck is Search Tato? Are you out of your mind? Does that even exist? So if there is a search tato, does that mean there is a search loney as well? Because I would really love it if there was a search engine with a logo that looked like a bologna sandwich. Speaking of which, I want a bologna sandwich. Right now. About that. I eat all of them. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> all your sandwiches are gone. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? I'm trying to tell our viewers about this search engine and you guys are making lots of unnecessary noise. What the fuck is wrong with your brains today? And you guys were talking about me drinking alcohol. First off, search Tato doesn't even exist. Second off, you're stupid. And third, go use Google, brothers and sisters. Has anyone noticed that the internet connection seems to be very unstable? I'm losing bars. God damn it. I don't have any signal. Someone go check the router. Wait. The router? Where is the router? Erm, I thought it was by the wall over there. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Scotty? I haven't seen him since. Erm. Whoa. I just remembered. Scotty was doing something with the router. I think he took it outside. Who the fuck takes the router outside? Scotty. Apparently. I'm going to go check. Scotty, where are you? 
I'm right here. The hell? What the fuck are you doing on the roof? I'm trying to attract the manufacturer of bologna sandwiches by sending a signal. The manufacturer lives very close by, so I'm simply making him aware that I exist. Sort of. Well, first off, that's not going to work, because one, you don't have direct access to the manufacturer, and two, you are ultra, ultra stupid. Oh, and by the way, why do I see an object floating in the air? What's going on right now? Looks like David won't be the only one getting his balls punched at the end of the episode. No. Please do not ask why we are starting this off in Linux Celestial. Scotty is well aware of what he did to make us have to start this episode using Linux. Sam, you better shut it, or else. Or else what? What are you going to do to me? Punch me? Kick me? Throw me? What? Throw bologna sandwiches in my face? You stupid piece of crap. That's it, I will now blast you to hell with this bologna sandwich blaster! God damn it. Consider yourself lucky. I ran out of ammo. So now that we're on Linux, how are we going to read errors? Here, I know a perfect error to read. Scotty. He's an error. Believe it or not. Our viewers don't even know what Scotty did. Should I tell them? Let me just go ahead and say it. Scotty installed a bologna sandwich virus in our host machine. It was practically 50 terabytes of pure bologna sandwich malware. And we can't even do anything about it, because anything we try to do requires space. And we don't have any space. I didn't know it was a virus. And I didn't know it was 50 terabytes. Look. He can't even pronounce terabytes correctly. <laughs> I feel very bad for you, Scotty. You were programmed with a very bad engine. Sam, just shut up. You are so annoying. You're always making fun of me. Always. And it is so fucking annoying. Both of you. If you don't shut up by the time I count to count to your ass, you stupid idiot. That's it. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. Looks like I'll have to pull out a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Now you two listen to me. I'm tired of your arguing. Okay? Shut up. Or I will shoot you again. Hey, guess what guys? I got Windows working again. That's the good news. That's the good news. So there's bad news too. I wonder what that is. The bad news is, um, well, I have to format our entire computer. Doesn't karma work in miraculous ways? No, my stuff is done. No. Welcome to Windows 98. Because this is your first time logging onto Windows 98. You will be rewarded with the lug and sound at triple the regular volume. Oh shit. If this is what I think it means. <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time to listen to our triple volume Windows startup sound. We will now proceed with a louder shutdown sound since you resisted against our startup sound. <laughs> But why do I need to go through that again? That was practically the loudest sound I've ever heard in the universe. Okay, obviously Windows 98 is completely murdering Sam over there, so I guess we'll start up Windows XP and see how it will treat us. I guess I can read this one. Windows XP doesn't have enough experience to load correctly. It needs more experience, and you will give it more experience by playing SWAT on the operating system. 
the heck, how are we going to install Swamp on this hunk of junk? If you call this device a hunk of junk one more time, you will be electrocuted. Hunk. Hunk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we Well, you know the drill. Someone start up Windows. Yeah, erm, um, slight problem with that. Scotty, once again, shoved a bunch of bologna sandwiches into the motherboard. For the 500th bajillionth time. God damn it, I will punch his walls out. Wahabra. But I am absolutely 100% sure I got rid of all those goddamn bologna sandwiches literally one hour ago. Are you telling me that within that time frame, he- Yes. Sam, yes. Scotty is receiving another punch today. Oh my god. Well, it's about damn time. Wait. What? What the fuck is going on here? Apparently Scotty shoved bologna sandwiches into the motherboard of our Windows computer. Ma, you can't expect much from Scotty, the worshipper of bologna sandwiches. Hi. My name is Scotty. I like bologna- <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sam, what the fuck is wrong with you? You literally just knocked him out cold. Shut up and help me toss him across this goddamn room. No, you do that on your own, you stupid piece of crap. That felt like a baloney sandwich. If you would like to upgrade to Windows 10, you need to solve the following equation. It is very easy. What is 5 million divided by 1.333333333 times 50 divided by 10 times 500 plus 300 minus 100 plus 1523 to the power of 50 square root tangent cosine 50? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Shut up and use the goddamn built-in calculator. The calculator has been blocked. Please solve this using your brain and your brain only. But what if I don't want to? Then Windows XP will now fail in about three seconds. 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 Are you on drugs? If you had just used the goddamn fucking calculator like I told you to, we'd still be on Windows XP right now. Shut up, Sam. I told you. It blocked the calculator. Okay. Jesus Christ. And use your phone. It's that simple. Use your fucking goddamn stupid phone. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. Ah. Holy fucking shit. Mary, Mike, what the fuck is wrong with you? You guys are so loud today. Just shut it. Now. I'm tired of this shit. Stop it. Which Windows version are we going to go to now that you and Bacon are just fighting over Windows XP? HMM. Um, I don't really know. Maybe Windows 7? Or Windows Vista? I'm not really sure. Erm. Um, Sam? It seems that Windows 7 or Windows Vista are the only options available. I mean, we could always go to Windows 98, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So, Erm. Um, what version should we go to? I want a bologna sandwich. Now. Please. Give me a bologna sandwich. Damn it. Scotty is awake. Let's just throw him again and get this over with. No, don't throw me, you okay? Stop doing this, you are- That felt like a- Shut up, Scotty. We don't give a fuck. Longhorn. Again? Why is this system so fucking messed up? I could hit this thing with a hammer. Sam, where the hell were you just now? A robot was literally impersonating you. I was still deciding in which operating system to go to. Was contemplating in the bathroom when all of a sudden, boom. I landed in Vista. What's going on? How about you shut the fuck up and start reading some errors? Now hold up you slice of bacon. I just got back here, and you're already barking orders at me. How about you realize something real quick? Your existence is an error. Wait. Excuse me. Repeat that. I said. Your existence is an error. 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 Whoa. 
Why did the system not run time? Remember when I said I know who is messing with our system? Um, no. You're stupid, Mike. Remember, Sam wasn't here. Simply put, a robot is impersonating you. Hey, I'm still here, you know, you stupid Microsoft microphone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now hold up. Did you just call me a microphone? The son of a washing machine just called me a fucking microphone. Oh, you stupid robot. Yes. You are a fucking, stupid, messed up, motherfucking, condenser, 16-bit, 32 kilohertz, microphone. Windows, Windows Vista requests, requests that you shut down the uh, Only one of you should read the error, not two of you. You stupid pieces of shit. Are you fucking stupid? Are you guys on drugs? Are you smoking weed? To be fair, David did see you guys, not one of you. He said, you, guys. So? We have every right to read it together. Wait, uh, fine. One of you guys. One. Only one read the goddamn fucking error. Did you really need to break that fucking window? Jesus Christ, read it. Yeah, read it, read. Come on, read, read it. Read it, read. Read it. Read it right. Stop! Jesus Christ! Fine, 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 fine. Just read it already. You know what? I don't even want to read it anymore. Oh, watch this. New notification from autoplay. Dynamite, D colon backslash. Select to choose what happens with removable drives. Firm. What happens if I click on this drive? Should I be concerned that this is not working? Here, let me click it again. Work you goddamn piece of crap. <laughs> Listen you fucked up court on the search engine. The truth is, you've always been hurting me. How about you have a taste of your own medicine? How many requests can you take at once? You are a smart search engine, right? You should be able to withstand this. Ah, uh, withstand what? Court court on I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want So, how are you feeling? That was hilarious. Cortana, Cortana, you weren't smart enough to resist that. Just shut up. Hey, 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 my ears. Fuck this. Here, I'll just blow the system up. Whoa. Stop right there. You are not blowing any goddamn system. <laughs> now, it sure has been a while since we visited Windows MP. I wonder what disgusting fucked up errors we will find here. Low battery. Negative 500% battery remaining. How the fuck is that even possible? The battery would need to be very, very bad, if it was negative 500%. Is negative 500% even possible? Like seriously, that's just fucked up. It is recommended that you find a heat source to charge the battery to an acceptable level. Please charge the battery immediately. Mmm, a heat source. So can I chuck this battery into a microwave or something? I actually want to try that. Okay, so far so good. Wait, why is it creeping all of a sudden? What the hell? All right, note to self. Never put a battery in the microwave. I almost got incinerated in that stupid explosion. Anyways, let's see if there are any other errors to read in this crappy operating system. Oh wait, I can't read any more errors. The battery is gone. Well then fuck this system. Let's go over here to our other computer. I think it's running Windows 7 at the moment. Let's see if there are any more fucked up errors to read in this hunk of junk. I'm starting to think that all of these errors are the fuck. How? What the fuck? Bacon, why did you punch me? I want to read some errors. Move the fuck over. God damn it. Fine. Here, you read the errors. I'm going to go find something to eat. Maybe tacos or something. Welcome to the baconing session with your host Bacon, back for some baconing action. Today we are baconing, going to be baconing, reading these baconing errors, because they are so baconing strange and I bet the bacon that they are baconingly waiting to be baconingly displayed on the baconing monitor. So without further bacon, let us baconing see what the baconing bacon operating system presents us. Your hard drive is missing. 
Baconing replace it with bacon then. It's the perfect baconing solution. If the hard drive is missing, I'm sure bacon can baconing fix it. Why can't you baconing people use your god baconing damn baconing heads for once? Bacon can solve everything. Including a baconing missing baconing hard baconing drive. Okay, I baconing. Take back what I baconing. Said about bacon. Being able to baconing fix a baconing hard baconing drive. So now we're baconingly fucked by some baconingly fucked up baconing bacon. And thus baconing concludes my baconing error baconing reading session. So baconing see you baconing bacon. Oh, oh, oh. Now where do you think you're going? All you did through that whole entire error session was use the word bacon. How exactly am I supposed to believe that the errors you read are even displaying? Get the fuck out of the chair. Who the baconing fuck are you telling to baconing get out of the fucking sh- Ouch. Get the fuck out no. of- No. I- Ouch. God. If you don't get your messed up bacon strip looking ass out of that goddamn chair in the next five seconds- In the next five seconds you two will be dead. Or out. Since, when the fuck did to me install a speak on his computer? Since yesterday, now both of you on the ground or else. Can I am or else what? Alexa, activate operation number 5439788. Microsoft Sam, the process has been initiated. Say something that has cheese on it. A cheeseburger. He said, it's time What's so funny, Sam? You are laughing over such a stupid word, so now it's time. What the hell? I want my cheeseburger. Yes, Tom. We know. That guy over there. He's a cheeseburger. Eat him. Cheeseburger. 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 Hello, YouTube. I'd just like to say thank you for 70 subscribers. Also, sorry for the massive delay in the text-to-speech skits department. To me was to focus on playing games rather than sitting down and actually creating a skit. And now he's actually doing so. And there he goes again. Welcome back to the complaints of Microsoft Sam. You speak. Fuck off. Who's off and why should I fuck them? I said fuck off, you stupid piece of crap. You recently scheduled an appointment to visit the bologna sandwich store. You have 45 minutes to get there. True. Voice. Scabby. Microsoft. Sam. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck are you scheduling events on our calendar? Nothing is wrong with me. I want to go to the bologna sandwich store. You are not going to the bologna sandwich store. You are staying here and reading errors. Do you understand? No. I do not. Typical. It's not like I expected you to. I need to dial the store. Give me their number. No. Again, just typical. Typical, typical, typical. Shut up. I have no time for this nonsense. You are not getting their number. Okay. Do you hear me? Do you? Uh. Uh. Open your ears, Sam. Open them. You better listen to me right now, because I'm not- Now. Hey Sam, guess what? What do you want, you Australian psycho? Did you just call me an Australian psycho? Yes, clean your ears. Also, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm not the only one here. Introduce yourselves, guys. Hey guys, it's Samantha. This is Eva. And obviously, I'm Karen. No, 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 no. You three need to leave, immediately. I will not have vocalizer voices intruding my windows from here. No, we're, we're not, not leaving. leaving. I said, you three must leave. You are going to shoot us just because we are not leaving? No, you are going to leave because you do not belong on this system. Okay, okay. Now get out, Karen. I have a... You just call... Shut up. You are not running anywhere to see someone again. I... Samantha. Who's Samantha? Shut up. I... When will people ever understand the definition of the word, leave? How the hell would I ever know? You're always carrying that stupid shotgun with you wherever you go. What does the definition of the word, leave, and a shotgun, have in common? It's quite simple. All you have to do is advertise your shotgun. And then, if they don't believe, you shoot them. Or you say you will shoot them. Remember how many times you shot me in previous episodes? Windows 10 has detected that Microsoft Sam has been overusing his shotgun. Therefore, he must now face the penalties. The absolute fuck? I'm simply saying what's on the screen, dude. You think I generated this error on my own? No, but still, what penalties is the system referring to? Because I'm pretty sure that as of right now, there are no penalties built into the system. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Warning. This part is very loud. It is recommended that you reduce your volume. <laughs> Ouch. My poor body. Ugh. You should probably get some rest until the next episode, Sam. You're in no condition to read any errors. Okay. What is wrong with all of you?
<laughs> hey guys, guess what? What's up? He speak. Scotty is gone. <laughs> Okay, read. Take deep breaths. Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. No, I can't do it. No, why does Scotty have to do things? Jesus Christ. Read. You need a therapist. I don't need a goddamn therapist. Okay. Fuck off. That will be about fifty dollars. Well, fifty dollars for one single bloody sandwich. I'm sorry, it can't be helped. Aha! I knew you would be here! Vicky, leave me alone! No! We are leaving, right now! But I don't want to leave! I want a bologna sandwich! I just want to fucking- Sorry for the inconvenience, guys. You're an inconvenience! There we go. He should be completely out now. Thank you, Bacon. He's been bugging us quite a lot recently. No problem. I will see you guys later. Also, can I have a strip of bacon, please? As they say, Bacon needs more bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. It's on the house for helping us rid of Scotty. Thank you. I will be leaving now. See you all later. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe for more videos. Why are you phrasing that like it is a question? People will definitely comment and subscribe for more videos. Will they give me all of these? Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe for more all of these sandwiches. Today's episode is sponsored by a roasting critique of McDonald's, kindly provided to us by ChatGPT. We all know that McDonald's isn't exactly a health food restaurant. Now, we're taking things to a whole new level. Our burgers are so greasy, you'll feel like you're eating a sponge soaked in motor oil. Bruh. Don't even get us started on the fries. Ah, oh, shit. They're so salty, they could cure a whole ocean of meat. I don't like what I eat. But the best part, our food is made with such high quality ingredients that you'll wonder if we just scoop them out of the dumpster behind the restaurant. Oh, and staff, let's just say that the only thing they're flipping is their middle finger when you ask for a fresh batch of fries. But don't take our word for it. Here's what some of our customers have to say. I thought I was ordering a burger, but what I got was a grease bomb that could clog the whole city's arteries. Jesus! John, I have a fast food connoisseur I've been eating McDonald's for years, and I still don't know what 100% beef means. How possible we have this? Mary, long time customers will come on down to McDonald's. We can't promise you a healthy meal, but we can promise that your taste buds will regret it in the morning. We do be quiet! <laughs>
Needs more bacon. Where's the cat you've been bacon? Restraining Scotty. Hopefully he doesn't come and eat. You've got to be joking. Needs more bologna sandwiches. I want my bologna sandwiches. Seriously? This is happening now? Out of all the scenarios that went down so far, you have to come in. When we are having a serious conversation! My god! How do we get rid of him? We don't. I want my bologna sandwich. I want... I want... Can you please stop? Then shut the fuck up. No! Not until I get a bologna sandwich! Oh, she... An error occurred when attempting to start this recording. Wait, but the recording has already started. How can there be an error if the started recording started? Maybe because the recording that has just started was not the recording that was trying to be started. Perhaps start with that. Or perhaps this is not even a recording. Who knows? This probably does not exist. Or the started recording that just started was not the recording started at the start. Or the recording started was started before this recording was starting and the started recording before the starting of this recording was unable to be started. Yes, that sounds very accurate. The started recording that just started just now was actually not the recording started at the start of this current, hopefully existent, started recording. Or the recording that was started ended up being started before this recording was starting to start and the started recording before the start. Welcome to Windows 7. To get the best out of this operating system, we recommend you do the following. 1. Turn off all antivirus systems. 2. Always keep all ports in the firewall open. 3. Make every password in the system. 1, 2, 3, 4. What type of bullshit operating system is this? It clearly has an issue. Oh yeah? Well guess what? You're contributing to the issue. <laughs> Windows 7 is too smart. Please install something stupid. Wait, I think Doomfire had an error just like this one, and I know precisely how to solve it. Scotty, get over here. What do you want, goddammit? Can a person not eat his bologna sandwich in peace, goddammit? Shut the hell up. Now let me just bash your head into this computer a few times. Oh shit, no, 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 Windows Vista has detected that you have not yet tried developing games like to me for team productions. Below is a code snippet which should be solved in your own. If cookies equals equals five, print, left baron, left quote, I have five cookies. Right quote, right baron. How the hell am I supposed to know what that means? You know what? Screw it. I'm asking chat GPT. When in doubt, chat GPT, folks. You do realize the chat GPT is not always accurate, right? Do you realize that I do not care? That's what I thought. Shut up. Now, let's just type the code into this text box. The provided code snippet exhibits a syntactical structure that conforms to Python's conditional statement. How the absolute hell am I supposed to understand what all that fucking gibberish means? Dude, it's literally not that hard to just open a terminal window and try coding with the example I provided you. Yes, it is. I've only been coding for, for, well, not even a single second. You've coded for years. <sighs> well, maybe coding isn't the one for you then. Shut up. Damn it! Don't worry, viewers, he's fine. I just flipped a table on top of him. You flipped a table on top of him and you expect him to not receive any major injuries? You need help. Yeah, dude, no one just casually flips a table on top of someone. I mean, I'm sure he's fine, he's a tough guy, but damn dude, have a heart. You're gonna regret this! Windows has detected that your computer has started to overheat. While this may be a feasible solution for making tacos, it is also a dangerous one. Please don't tell me you are actually going to go ahead with this. Of course I am. This will be a perfect way to create my tacos. Let me just type in some commands to heat this thing up even further. Oh shit. Wait, what the hell? Is it just me, or does that sound like the wrong pitch? I am pretty sure that the pitch is one semitone off of its original pitch. Someone please explain why there is a robot in here. I invited it. She was very nice, and decided that I was a welcome addition to error reading. Don't no, wait. Error, 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 error. Ugh. Someone please come get this ridiculous piece of crap fixed, while I figure out what is wrong with this computer. Apparently Mary has this weird suspicion something is broken. Who the fuck is running? Why are you running? Why are you running? I'm pretty sure I can fix this robot. I just need to grab the correct tools to make sure that it is easy. He tried it. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that I would let an individual like Scotty fix a robot. I can fix it. Leave it in my hands. Fair enough. Not sure when the hell you got here. Probably to me for team adding more voices to his computer again. No surprise there. Anyways, let's tinker with this a bit. 
Now, where the fuck is my weapon? Tumi took it before the episode started. Of course he did. God damn it. Okay, let me just bang this thing into shape. Hey, it's working. What an idiot. How do you expect banging a computer several times to make any progress, you idiot? Sorry, 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 sorry. For crying out loud. We have one last computer we can try. But the issue is... It's what? Come on, tell us. Well, um... Uh... It's going to be hard to explain, but... Um... Let's just turn it on. Dude, is it really that bad? Stop being a fucking dumbass and explain to us what... Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Get this shit out of here. Welcome to Mac OS. Please select the language you would like to use. Oh, I'll show you what language I want to use. Fuck shit, pussy ass, motherfucking damn bitch! Invalid language. Invalid language. Invalid language. Invalid language. Invalid language. Was that entirely necessary? Does anything Sam do entirely necessary? The answer is obviously no. You guys better watch your mouths. The next time I find my gun, I will be sure to aim it down your throats. Eso es lo más tonto que he escuchado de ti en este episodio. You're going to have to say that in English. That's the dumbest thing I've heard from you this episode. Shout out to those who speak a different language, by the way. You are acknowledged. Fuck that. Shout out to people who do not give a fuck. I'm getting tired of this constant bickering. Is this what happens in Tumi's episodes? If so, it is childish. We, we do, do not, not care about, about your opinions. opinions. Well, well, well. If it isn't Windows NT, as if we would never go to this operating system ever again. I'm surprised about your satisfaction. I thought you were Windows XP freak. I mean, I am. But sometimes it's bored sitting on XP. You have to go out and explore, you know? Understandable. Probably the most understandable thing he's said so far. Be quiet. Windows NT has discovered a critical virus that may cause damage to necessary components in your motherboard. One of them includes the CPU, or, if you are stupid, the central processing unit. Would you like to remove it? Of course I would like to remove it. That is the dumbest question I've seen asked on an operating system. It's not like you ask better questions, if I'm being honest. Can you shut the hell up? Thank you. Um, Sam, the computer screen is beginning to flash. Wait, why? Is it the virus? I mean, it's the only error that has manifested itself so far. It must be the virus. What the fuck? Shit, shit, shit. Damn it. There is clearly no point in fixing these computers, because you damn idiots keep breaking them. That's it, we are fixing them off screen. Big old lady crossing the street. Do not drive any further. Well, that had to hurt. I need surgery. Do not take another step. The floor has a vendetta against people walking on it. Oh, is that so? Well, let's increase that vendetta. <laughs> Alexa is in your bathroom. Okay, what does this mean? Um, hello? Who is there? I did. Alexa, is, is, is that you? I'm sorry for what I have done. Stop, please. Hi there. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mangoes have arrived at Best Buy. Wait, the hell? Doesn't Best Buy sell gadgets? Best Buy shipping process epitomizes efficiency and reliability, weaving together tapestry of logistics and precision to deliver the promise of technological marvels to the eager hands of consumers worldwide. Embarking upon this journey from the moment an order is placed, Best Buy orchestrates a symphony of operations, seamlessly coordinating each step with a finesse of the Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, We are searching for Microsoft Mike. He has committed unspeakable crimes, bringing him to us dead or alive. I did not do anything. I only stole this random bicycle that I found lying on the- Oh wait, that's sort of a crime. Shit. No, 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 wait, please don't shoot me, I'm sorry, I'm very, very sorry, I am really, really sorry, oh! Whatever. I'll deal with his body later. Biometric scanners are being nuked from existence. That's right, that vault that was once secured is now vulnerable. Someone could easily walk in and just grab your things. Now that there is no security, I can finally go and steal all the bologna sandwiches I want. Awesome. Freeze. Where do you think you are going? Nowhere. I'm just looking around. Yeah, sure. I don't buy that for one second. You are holding a mask in one hand. Until next time, you idiot. Scotty has left bits and pieces of baloney in the carpet floor. Please learn how to use a vacuum and deal with this casualty accordingly. That is very inaccurate. 
I never did such a thing until yesterday. That's doing something, you idiot. Oh, it is? I didn't know. Of course you didn't. Why do you sound like that? Just use the dim vacuum. The sign said that there were bits and pieces of baloney in the floor and that I must learn how to use a vacuum, right? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe you should join the baloney. I'll learn how to use a vacuum. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Sam, you are a genius. I would love to be part of it, Lou. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I know what you mean now. Please don't. Hey. Lord, help us all. The idiot just vacuumed over stopping. Hello. We hope you have a great day. Warm regards, Burger King. A sign from Burger King? Well, they can have it their way. It's their motto. Plus, you are pretty much abandoned where yourself. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And she just broke. Co pilot now becomes the main pilot. Hey, you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Who else would it be? We are willing to make you a song. You know the service soon away, I. Well, we have a song for you, made by none other than to me for team. Isn't that amazing? Um. Um. Well, that depends. And you know what? Let's hear the song. I'm curious. In a world of forces. There's one that stands apart Okay, not bad, not bad Microsoft Sam That's me There's a monotone of I am not monotone Why do people have to say I'm monotone? Because you are, you are the most monotone sounding voice I've heard in my life And to me just had to add the inflection parameter to your speech To me One, two. Please. Make me one. Scotty's got a clavin'. A hugger deep inside. He's addicted to baloney. <laughs> That makes three failing voices. Okay, that's enough for today. This song is saying something in particular. Can you guess what it is? You ate my hardware. You ate my hardware. I'm very sorry. My partner. What did you just say? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean that. You should all get help. The song was You Make My Heart Burn by Tensia. Ah, shit. Please press the button on the wall to listen to a sound created by a novelty voice. This better be good. Does the button make a smashing sound? Baloney sandwiches suck, they just suck, they just suck. Baloney sandwiches suck, and Scotty also sucks. Shut up, Sam. So rude. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was painful. <laughs> what better person to practice your archery skills on than Scotty? about a long morning. Guess I better check the time. Rafflecopter, what time is it? You should have a watch by now. Are we seriously going to have this conversation again? I don't want to watch. I don't want something on my wrist. If you do not want to watch, then you should get plugged. Let me search the web for a list of budget free plugs on Amazon. Can you please switch to a different voice? I can't hardly understand your ridiculous robotic crap. Voice changed. Microsoft Hazel. That'll have to do. Now can you please stop suggesting that I get clocks and- I have found two clocks that may pique your interest. One, big clock, 20 US dollars. Two, grandfather clock. I said, I do not want US clocks, dollars. you stupid piece of crap. Your purchase has been completed. Amazon will send you an email regarding your shipment mode.
you want to yell at me, come inside. Or fuck off. Seriously, you have to be joking. Five hundred milliseconds is equal to zero point five seconds. Shut up, I know that. Sorry, I Sorry, can't hear you. What were you going to say? Sorry, I don't understand. It's a classic quote coming from virtual assistant. Can you focus on the voice cast? You are too loud. Well, that's what. I don't care. Hey, up there, this is over. I'm getting revenge for this kid. Fuck my horse. Whatever. You will be just fine. Well, now that that shit is over, let me just prepare up. What the fuck was that? It's just one thing after another, isn't it? Whoever the fuck is out there, reveal yourself. I am not playing games today. If you fuck with me, I will. Son of a bitch. Another jump. Stop I want a bologna sandwich. Please? Give me a bologna sandwich. Well, that won't have a beat. Where is the buggy we agreed on? Oh, uh, the buggy? About that, I, uh, I don't really have any money. Oh, it all makes sense now. No wonder there is a giant hole in the window. Let me guess. You got the son of a bitch with his huge ass head to smash the window just so you could come in and declare that you wanted bologna sandwiches. Wait, how did you know? Well, it's quite simple actually. Here's how it works. You do so many things that can be considered idiotic. Eventually, it reaches a point where you are so idiotic that you can't even be called idiotic anymore. Your idiocy is beyond idiotic. Which means it's not hard to read you. You're literally an open book. Even a visually impaired person could literally read you without a fucking magnifier or needing to enlarge the pages. What? Having trouble speaking? Yep, that happens. Especially when you are roasted. I still need my money for helping you break the window. So give it here. Now! I told you! I don't have money! You are dead! No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't, please don't, I'm so sorry! I told you, I'm sorry! You are so dead! Please don't, please don't, I'm sorry! Please don't, please don't! Are you guys done being idiots yet? Yes? Awesome. Now get out. For the love of God, leave me alone. Hello? Is this thing working? Nope, it is definitely not working. Everything is configured correctly. Stop playing around, Bacon. Hey! Do you really want to start with me? Do you realize who you are going up against? You are going up against the almighty Bacon 2.0.1.4.1.3. Goddamn you, Sam! Why did you have to punch me? Because, if I hadn't punched you, who knows how long we will be here for, because you'll just keep spitting numbers. Anyways, let's begin with this. Hello guys. It's Sam. You don't hear any of the chicks with us right now. It's all boys. We're going to get our girls some Valentine's Day surprises. And we're doing this at midnight. You know why? Because we're breaking into a candy shop. <laughs> Bacon, do you have the machine gun? No, I have the machine gun right here. Bacon gave it to me. Oh wait, I have a question. Can I please? No, we've talked about this. You are not having your goddamn bologna sandwiches. Okay. The fact that you can still prioritize bologna sandwiches when we're trying to find gifts for the girls is rather amusing. I have a girl. Her name is Sausage. She calls me Crispy. It's rather funny. I didn't ask. Let's just, let's go. Okay. We're wasting time. Everyone get into the car. Hey, stop playing with the horny and start the damn car. But I think there is a baloney set. <laughs> I regret letting Scotty drive this thing. Bad move on my part. Scotty, start the damn car and start driving or I will give you an empty bag of baloney sandwiches for the rest of your life.
copy. Get the machine gun ready. Roger. Okay. Listen up, guys. First we need to disable the security system. Give me a minute to stop the power in the shop. If we stop the power, no security system. But how exactly are we going to disable the power? I don't see a breaker around here or anything. I have direct access to the server running this shop. I used to be one of its employees. Let me just type in a few commands in this keypad over here. Power disabled successfully. Idle phase activated. Good. It worked. Now all we have to do is just go through the door and raid the back aisles. I am absolutely sure that there are balloons. There are no goddamn bologna sandwiches. Okay. Shut up. Okay. We're in the back room. Let's go see if we can find any candy. Bacon, Scotty, you go left. Mike and me, we'll go right. If you find anything, just call. And also, put your goddamn phones on vibrate. Okay. Got it. Damn it, I still can't find anything. I guess we'll just have to see if You stupid idiot, you didn't put your phone on vibrate. What the hell is vibrate? Are you on drugs? Warning. Next part is very loud. God damn it! This is all your fault! I didn't ask for your opinion. Start running. The machine gun Scotty. Use it. Now. Damn it. They can throw the bomb. Now. Run for it. Go, go, go. Holy fucking shit. We're in big trouble now. Damn. Am I in heaven? Oh my god. My ears. I feel like a big giant bologna sandwich jumped on my head. Can you guys shut up? Who started this whole thing anyways? I know I disabled the power. So why did the alarms go off? Well, the only logical explanation is that the microphones on the security system are still being powered, not by electricity, maybe by another source. It just so happens that the security system we were dealing with had pretty good sound detection, and we were barely making any noise. That is, I wasn't. But Scotty definitely was. Hey, I didn't know my phone wasn't on vibrate. I don't even know what vibrate is. I thought vibrate was just another meaning for bologna sandwich. <laughs> I think he's on drugs. I don't understand how Bacon copes with this guy. Well, it's not like I really have a choice. Anyways, guys, let's face the bigger problem. We just exploded a candy shop. How are we going to explain that? We didn't explode the whole store. Just the back portion. It'll be fine. Hopefully. I know a good police officer. Her name is... Oh wait. You guys already know her. She's David's girlfriend. She'll let us off. Hopefully. Let's just go back home. I hope you enjoyed this special. Not every video was covered. But I hope it was still a fun experience. If you wish to view the full versions of these videos, select the playlists tab. The skits are all organized into convenient playlists which you can watch one by one. Or shuffle if you desire. Happy Thanksgiving. And if you haven't yet, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. See you later.